Hi everyone, this is Marisol Sanchez. We're going to talk about subtracting fractions. Let's start with this problem. It's two and one six minus three fourths. Since the denominators are different, we can figure out something to have a common denominator that it will be on this side. So we will have two times four, that's 12, and three times four is 12, and two times the six is 12. So the commonality is 12, yes? So that's 12, my new denominator. We can get rid of this now. What number gave me 12? Three. Four times three. three. Similar to above the equal sign, four times three is 12, and same thing, three times three will give me nine. Mm -hmm. Moving on to the next fraction, six times one will give me 12. One, three. same thing, two. two. And likewise, multiply across. Right here, we have a situation because we are subtracting the fraction, as you can see. But there's a two here, and there's a nine. We cannot subtract a smaller fraction from a bigger fraction. <coughs> For this situation, we are going to borrow from the whole number. The whole number is two. Cross out the two, put a one. This one, move it in front of the fraction. Then you proceed to times the denominator by the, by the whole number plus the numer numerator. 12 times one, 12, plus two, 14, and keep the same denominator. This is my new fraction. 14 minus nine, will give me five, keep my 12, and don't forget the one. So 14 times. So that will be um, 14 because it's 12 times one is 12, mm -hmm. plus the two is 14. Okay. So that's my new denominator, numerator, mm -hmm. and my denominator stays the same. Right. Mm -hmm. okay. 14 minus nine is five. five. Mm -hmm. 12 stays the same, and don't forget the one. Well, thank you, you guys. This was uh, subtracting fractions.